President Trump sending out a bizarre video and raising the question, is his social media habit hijacking his agenda? As Republicans struggle with health care and a major meeting is set with Vladimir Putin this week, the president is focused instead on attacking the media, tweeting this mock video of himself tackling then punching a man who represents CNN. Is the shocking image of the president physically attacking someone just comedy or could it incite violence against the media? ABC's Gloria Riviera starts us off from Bedminster, New Jersey, where the president is spending the holiday weekend. Tonight, President Trump escalating his war on the media, <laughs> tweeting a mock video showing him outside a wrestling ring, tackling and punching a man with the CNN logo covering his face. Trump's Homeland Security Advisor Tom Bossert seeing the video for the first time on This Week, defending the president. There's a lot of cable news shows that reach directly into hundreds of thousands of viewers, and they're really not always very fair to the president. So I'm pretty proud of the president for developing a Twitter and a uh, social media platform where he can talk directly to the American people. Is that the kind of communication you want, that he's beating up on somebody? Well, he's that he's all... beating up on the media? No. You're, you're in charge of Homeland Security there, yep. that seems like a threat. Yeah, certainly not, though. I think that no one would perceive that as a threat. I hope they don't. ABC News contributor Anna Navarro, who is also a CNN contributor, saying Trump's message could have consequences. It is an incitement to violence. The White House did not respond when asked for a comment. But earlier this week, during the president's Twitter tirade against MSNBC co-hosts Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski, where he called them crazy and dumb as a rock, spokeswoman Sarah Sanders insisted. The president in no way, uh, form or fashion, has ever uh, promoted or encouraged violence, if anything, quite the contrary. And he was simply uh, pushing back and defending himself. During the campaign at some Trump rallies, there were outbreaks of violence against protesters. At times, then, candidate Trump appeared to encourage it. If you see somebody getting ready to throw a tomato, knock the crap out of them, would you? We're not allowed to punch back anymore. I'd like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. But last night, Trump making it clear his main opponent now is the media. The fake media tried to stop us from going to the White House, but I'm president and they're not. And Gloria joins us live from Bedminster. Gloria, the president seems to be focusing much of his attention on attacking the media, but he has a very important week ahead of him. That's right, Tom, a very full week for this president. And of course, the focal point, health care, in such a precarious state. But in addition, one of the most important meetings for this president to date, that one-on-one -on -one with Russia's President Vladimir Putin that is expected to take place at some point during the G20 summit in Germany this week. Tom? Gloria Riviera starting us off tonight. Gloria, thank you.